In this video, we're going to look at content macros, basic content inheritance, and basic content translation support in Crafter CMS. The first topic that we're going to cover is the concept of macros. Oftentimes, we have values within our content that can change over time, such as a CEO name or a store count. And if these values get placed throughout our content, it can be a challenge to keep up to date. So here in our example, you can see we've hard-coded door count value of 3,000. Now in Crafter, if we want to make that dynamic, we can go back into the content, and we can replace that hard-coded value with a macro. So I'm going to select the hard-coded value. I'm going to go up to the RT toolbar and select Insert Macro and choose my macro. And you can see in the rich text editor, a placeholder for store count is inserted. And when I click save, the rendered value is 2000. Now let's go to the sidebar and we're going to open components and then we're going to open the macros folder. Inside macros, we have a piece of content and if we edit that, we can see the key value pairs that we're allowed to insert into our content. And we're going to change the 2000 value for store count to say 10,000 and save it. And when we do, the value is updated in the rendered content and it would be updated wherever that macro was used on the site. So you edit the content in one place, it gets updated everywhere. The next capability we're going to talk about is content inheritance. Inheritance is similar to macros in that the functionality allows you to share content across multiple objects and manage that content in a single place, but it works in a completely different way than a macro does. On the screen now, you'll see an illustration of the default inheritance model in Crafter CMS. This model is called a hierarchical model. In the hierarchical model, a object called a level descriptor is used to define properties which are then inherited by other objects at the same level or below that level. Content inheritance works for any kind of content, whether you're talking about pages or other kinds of objects. Now, in our example on the screen, we see that we have a level descriptor at the top, which contains properties A, B, and C. And below that, we can see that objects below or aside of that descriptor can override those properties or add new properties. This capability allows us to manage content in a single location, but allows us to leverage that content all over our sites and projects in a very simple way. Now let's look at a real world example in our site. Here's a typical page. Let's go ahead and edit it. And let's look at the keywords. Here we can see there are some default keywords set up at the page level. Let's make an edit here. Okay, let's go ahead and save our content and look at the page source. Here we see the updated values in the page source. Now, let's look at a different page on the site. Let's edit that page. Here in the form we can see that this page has no values set at the page level. But if we look at the source, we can see that the page does have a value in the keyword and description field. Notice the section defaults object at the top level of the site. Let's go ahead and edit that object. Let's edit the section defaults object. Here we'll see a default value for page descriptor and page keyword. These were the values that we saw in the page source that we just viewed. That is because these values are inherited by this page. To prove this, let's make an update in the level descriptor and then look again at the page source. We've made our edit. Let's save and view the page source. And here we'll see the updated values inherited by the page. To further illustrate the point, let's look at another page at the same level and see if the value is also inherited there. Let's view source, and yes, we do see the updated value here as well. Our last topic is translation. So we're going to start our example with the English site, and you can see we have a home page. We also have pages below that, like this pricing page. Let's go ahead and make an edit to this page. So we're going to click on the pencils, and then we're going to change this headline here from subscription-based to subscription-based solution. Okay, now we see our change here on the English page. Under translations, you can see that we have a Spanish site. It also has a home page, and it shows the same pages that we have in our English site. 
you can see there's a difference in the way that they're presented. If I hover over top of pricing in the English site, you see that I have all of the options that you could expect as an author. If I hover over the same page in the Spanish site, you can see that I only have an option to override. Whereas if I select the Spanish page and right click on that, you'll see I have full options and we have Spanish content for the home page. The pricing page does not have content and it's not overridden. So I only have the override option. English content is inherited on the Spanish site unless the file is overridden. To prove this, let's make another update in the English page by changing the subscription to software. Now that we see that content in this English page, let's switch to the Spanish page. And here we see that content immediately inherited in the Spanish page. Okay, now let's override the pricing page and translate it to Spanish. To do this, we right-click, select Override. Once the override process is complete, we can right-click again and we see we have the full set of authoring options, including Remove Override, and now we can edit the content. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on the pencil for the component we want to edit. This will open the form for the content, and we'll translate that content. So here you can see we'll replace the English text with Spanish text. When we save, we can see our Spanish translation. Now it's important to understand that while we did this translation manually, Crafter fully supports integrating with translation management systems. Once the content has been translated, we can easily switch back and forth between the English and translated content in Spanish, just by clicking on the page in the English section or the page in the Spanish section. At any point, if we want to remove a translation, we simply right-click on the object and remove the override. This will prompt us to delete the override, and the content will go back to being inherited from the English site. To illustrate this further, now that we've removed our override, let's make one more edit to our English pricing page. Let's go ahead and edit the content. We'll add the words model to our headline, and then save. And now we can switch between the English and Spanish versions and see that they are the same. This capability is called Waterfall Inheritance Based Translation and is just one of the translation options that Crafter supports. Okay, that wraps up our demonstration of basic macros, inheritance, and basic translation within Crafter CMS. Thanks for your time and happy crafting.